All right, so how to program the Nectar Pacer MIDI pedal to the RC505. Uh, not incredibly complicated. Um, all the videos look at it online say it's not complicated, but trying to figure out how to do it is the fun part. So, uh, first thing you need to do is choose your MIDI CCs. Uh, you can go into, I don't even know if you can see this, there we go. Go to your memory settings. Gosh, there we go, memory. Okay, so, you scroll all the way over, you have your sign switch one. On, I have it set for CC number one. That's important, CCs, right, up to 16 you can control through this board. So on the pacer you're going to program all your pedals here um, this one is a preset change you can program all of these pedals here so lots of pedals everything is controlled via a knob here um, so what you first want to do is go to whatever preset you want to change um, I have one and two here set up that I've already programmed but pretty much to program it you just you're on your preset you're gonna scroll this wheel till you get to this control control deal here um, this is gonna be different for every preset you're on you hit the control you're gonna press down on the button and then it's gonna ask you which switch you want to change all you got to do is press on whatever pedal that you want to assign the functions to say I want to change this one I'll click there here and see it's blinking and it says setup and you hit all scroll over to the right the type is CC trigger is what I have it set up to you can change it to CC stop um, toggle program bank program stop there's there's so much stuff you can do here CC toggle I'm gonna leave it on CC trigger Scroll over again, and it's going to ask you what CC number you want. I have it set for CC 13. You can set it wherever you want, but a 505 only runs up to 16 CC inputs. Um, then, there's the most important part. <clears throat> From the factory, this thing is set up uh, CC up and down to zero. So what's going to happen when you trigger that CC, it's not going to change the high and low on it. What you have to do is set your down all the way up. So when you click this pedal, that signal drops down momentarily, and then it'll come back to zero. If you don't do that, it will not trigger the 505. And that was some frustration I was trying to figure out. I finally got to one of the presets on the board where it did change something, and I looked into all the settings. So you can also... Uh, change your transmit channel and everything else um, and the LEDs are programmable um, the MIDI part of the LED programming that is if you're running in a DAW or something something else through your laptop um, you can assign the on color the off color off color is what it's going to be the on color is what it's going to change to when you press the button momentarily um, and then you can assign LED numbers so we have this is one that would be two that would be three uh, if it only has two LEDs it'll only give you two options but if I was on this one I could assign it either to the, the patch thing the record deal or this bar um, we'll leave that on one and you go back scroll all the way to the right go back again the first thing you want to do is hit save if you do not hit save the moment you trigger a button, it's going to revert to the last thing it was before you edited it, and then it's just not going to work. So every time you edit something, first thing you do is scroll the wheel to the right and hit save. And the way you hit save, scroll to the right, it says save, and you just hit store, and you choose your preset. It's going to automatically be on the one preset that you were editing on. Program A2. So, 
I have my play bank. This plays track five, track four, three, two, one. Stops them. This is my all start, all stop. This is the same for both my track record bank and my play bank. This is my tap tempo. So say if I want to speed it up, don't want to do that though. Now I got it all foobard, but we'll stop that. And this is my input effects control. So that's how I have it set up. Um, you assigned each one of these is what I did. I assigned this to go to preset A2 or A1. And I assigned this one to go to preset A2. And then I assigned all the colors so it's different. This is record bank. And then this one is my play bank. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Once you get everything uh, set up, it just takes a while. Um, run through all your CC inputs. I did about 14 of them on here. And then um, what you do is you would just write to memory, whatever memory you want to write it to and write. Now, if you clear this bank out, like so, you can write memory one to memory two. And what that makes it, it makes it so you do not have to enter in all 16 years CC, MIDI, in, out, momentary, toggle, all that stuff. All you do is overwrite it to an empty track on the 505 and then problem solve. You don't have to reprogram anything. Um, pretty awesome. So I have foot controls over the whole deal and then I'm running the FS6 for rhythm level and output effects. So yeah, it's, it's awesome.